hello hello and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different and basically it's just um, my favorite art books and uh this is my collection from over the years i've just collected for just many many years and i thought that i would share them with y'all today uh, my first book is by um, a photographer named martha cooper this book is called going postal going postal and this is um, basically a book of graffiti stickers and I am really into graffiti I always like the freeness of of their art and uh, if you don't have this book and you're into graffiti yo this is this is this is a great book this is a collection of many different artists uh, it's I think this United States and I think some of them are even from like around the world that you can um, find in this book. I thought this was just an awesome way to display talent, uh, just freestyle talent, because it's all of these art stickers and everything that people put everywhere from the subway to a parking meter. She has um, a lot of it in this book. And, um, uh, it's just it's just a lot and this is this is a one book that she has she has she has another one that I know of and like I say this is just inner city stuff like whatever like wherever you can put a put a sticker and I was just I'm just I love this and I actually even used to do this you know what I'm saying and I, I can show you some stickers that I've done when I go to the post office I will get some of these priority mail stickers and actually uh, like draw on them and I've, I've kept a few over the years I've had many and uh, this is just a great book to just look at a great reference book if you if you just want to see how people are doing these are like stencils um, you know it's just as there's one on a parking meter I don't know, doors, walls, wherever, wherever, wherever you can post your art. And uh, this is New York as a the paper. So I was just really amazed by um, this collection. And I just, it's just wonderful wonderful collection this is just a nice book and once again the lady Martha Cooper she's a photographer so she went out wherever she went in their cities places that they actually do this and um, boom here it is and here are like like I was so influenced by this I've been doing this this book these books came out probably early 2000s I've had them for years and so I, I, I've actually done some of the, these stickers myself and mine are just weird but I've actually been a part of that you know go into the post office and take a bunch of stickers only need one for what you're doing and then just take them take a bunch of them and so here's just some that I've done like over the years, you know, and just doodling on a sticker. And instead of sticking it on something, I just stuck them in this, this, this sketchbook that I had. You know, so this is my own personal collection, my own art, you know, just real fun to do. Um, I don't really encourage it like if you're a kid or whatever you know but I'm, I'm an adult but this is something fun that I've done and that's and that's how many I've done I've done probably hundreds of these things over the years but then I just recently maybe last year the year before that decided to start collecting them and put them all in one place so that's why they're stuck in here but I haven't done one in a while and so uh, that's 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 that and so uh, that is my first book uh, my next one is is also one by Martha Cooper it's called uh, name tagging and it's basically the same the same type of book as a first book going postal but this is like 
those name tags that they give you like if you start a new job and they'll give you a name tag <laughs> like a hello my name is Bob or whatever but these graffiti artists took them and started putting their their tag name on it I never done none of any of these but I'm just impressed by you know the fact that she went and collected all these and these are these are actual uh, graffiti artists that are in the book and you probably have heard of some of them I've heard of some of them you know um, and you can like Google them and go on YouTube and you know find out more about them or are they still around or, or whatever like a lot of these are like big time graffiti artists and and this one with this book she actually gives a little bit of bio and information about the artist about the artists themselves and uh this is a pretty cool one it looks like it's done with maybe a chalk marker or a metallic marker uh pretty pretty interesting Claw. I've heard it. I've heard of that one. So, this is another one called Name Tagging by the same photographer, Martha Cooper, who put this all in a book and put it all together. Big ups to you. This book has been out for a while, it's still around. And these are like my influences when you see my art a lot of it comes a lot of it's just a mixture of everything but that's that book name tagging Martha Cooper and another book um, that that has always influenced me since I was a kid you can't forget the comic book always love a comic book and this is one that was actually gifted to me by my brother-in-law. He gave me this one. He's a, he's a huge comic fan. He's someone who actually reads the comics. And, I, and, I'll, and I'll let you know, I've never actually just fully read a comic. I've always just liked the art. I've always been in it for just the art, you know. So that was more my style. Just looking at the art, trying to mimic the art. You know, it's something I've done for years and years and years. So, you know, this is, you know, y'all are familiar with a comic book, but this is one called Flash. And I have several, this is just one I've just chosen to show you. But I've always liked the art. Always liked the art. Okay, so this is, this is just the influences of a comic book. But there are many. There, there, there are several ones. Like here's some other ones. Back in the day, comic books used to be like black and white, mostly black and white. I started looking at comics when I was read, reading the paper. It used to be a comic strip in the paper. Now they come just all, all different kind of ways. Color, um, not color, black and white, glossy pages. But I've always loved the art, you know. So this is another one that I've been, you know, influenced by. I always like the sounds. <laughs> Clug, crank. Uh, so yeah, that was another one of my influences, a comic book. And this is another one. I love uh, texture. And this is like Amphigori by um, Edward Gorey. And there, there are a few of these, you know, but for the most part, I love this because of the texture. This is mostly pen and ink. And then like all the different textures that you can make. Like that's what I just really like about this. Like the different backgrounds, textures. Love black and white. So this is a book that I, that I have that I just like to look at you know um, I get and just all the different 
things you could do with just black and white. You know, always been intrigued by just all the things you could do with just one color, a pencil, a pen, you know, and use the paper as the white surface and then use a pen as black and then you have black and white. And I've just always like been intrigued by what people can do with just a simple pen, a simple pencil, like nothing fancy, just the basics. And that's what I like about, you know, art like this. It's just, it's just complex because of all the things that you can do with it. But at the same time, it's just one color, you know, and then the background makes the second color and then you make tones with the pencil, the pen, and you make texture, all this detailed texture. Look at that. It's just amazing. It's amazing to me. Let me see if I can get closer. So I'm just you can see oh we'll look at that one the texture see all of that just just so much detail and I and I really enjoy like detail art you know I think it's really really nice just to look at I could just look at this just see here and just look at this I've read some of it but for the most part, I just really like art. I just really like to look at the art and how people's minds work when they actually did this, this type of work. It's so detailed, so amazing to me. This one, you can see, like this one. Let me see if I can get closer. But like the hatching. You can see like the hatching and the uh, the clothing. You know what I'm saying? The hatching and the floor, the hatching and the clothing, the hatching and and like the floor, the dress. You know, just the plant. How detailed this stuff is. There's a cat in the background. Y'all, this, this, I'm so intrigued by how detailed this work is. So that's why I like this book. Let me back this up for me. Um, Amphigori by Awagori. And I have another one of these, but this, I just wanted to show you just, just the detail, just the beauty and just black and white. There's so much beauty in black and white to me, you know. So um, that's another book that I like. Go back. So it's called Amphigory. And it's by Edward Gorey. This is the 15th, 15th book, 15 books. But I only have like a couple of them, but that's another one that I like. And then, like I go places, I travel a lot, a lot, a lot. And this is a, a book that comes out of a bookstore. A lot of times I'll just um, write in the book like where I got this book from. And probably like, oh, did I not write in here? Well, I got the receipts. This came from a bookstore. Oh, sometimes I just keep all of that just, just from from memory but this book right here I got this book back in 2018 from a bookstore called Cheap Books in Oklahoma City Oklahoma shout out to Oklahoma for anybody who lives in Oklahoma one of my favorite places to travel to um, and this book I just like like the way people think differently like it's just it teaches you how to sketch but at the same time it just teaches you different patterns and different ways to do maybe the same thing something that you might already know but then it will teach you a different way to do it or maybe like you always wondered how do they do those i've seen those these right here everywhere and this will show you like step by step on how to do it i find things like that interesting that the breakdown of what i see you know and so these little sketching books um they they help they help me to understand like shapes like when i look at something that's so complex these books help me to break it down into a shape 
and um, like this at the end of the day is a is a fox and um it's like the way that they took it it's like they started off with a triangle everything's a triangle you know they made this whole fox out of a triangle you know and I find that just so neat to know that you can get that end result out of one of your basic shapes that you learned in first grade circles triangles and squares but then somebody decided to actually do this and then now you have such something that you are familiar with at the end of that and so this is another one so where it's a top this one a radish you got, even got the christmas tree um so i love books like this for them simplifying things for them to to break it down to where you look at something that's so complex and then you get one of these made easy it's called let me go, sketching made easy and another thing that I love about this is the actual sketchbook. Like this is a sketchbook that you buy in a, a store. Let me see if I can back that up. Oh. And it's just like a, a regular sketchbook. Just like this is this is that's my sketchbook that I have. And this is what this is. This is it's a sketchbook, and this is a sketchbook too like that and so that's what I really liked about the whole book is that it was an actual sketchbook like with the bindings it has like the lay flat pages and the, the hand stitching so I thought that that was that was very nice that it's an, it's an actual sketchbook and so here's some other stuff um, faces and body shapes and like a horse a, a complete horse you know step by step just breaking everything down into like shapes so you can understand it you know you can understand it all right one moment yes ma'am hi okay okay say say hi to my youtube channel Hello YouTube. Yeah, this is my sister, and um, as I am doing my uh, my video for y'all, my sister has called me, and this is a, a a lady that I love. My heart goes out to her. And y'all, guess what? She's actually I want to show her, but she's actually in the store buying me something. So <laughs> I'll be right back in a minute with the rest of the video. But this is my wonderful, beautiful sister calling me with gifts. So say bye YouTube. Bye YouTube. Good. Okay. And so I, as I was saying, you know, they just break down the shapes. And and then you can see how to actually make something out of that that simple shape. So that's why I like those those books. These types of books and this is this is a book called Sketching Made Easy. I don't really have an Arthur's name on thing. Let me see. It's just one of those books. Yeah. I don't know who put it together. Printed in China. But yeah. So the next one I have is a YouTuber. Pen and ink drawing. A simple guide. And his name is Alfonso Dunn. He has his own YouTube channel, and you can uh, get can YouTube him. And this guy uh, did this book um, basically off of his channel, and he's somebody who is just who can really explain how to do something. So if you need an explanation of of how to do something, just go to his channel, and he can definitely explain to you how to do it. Like he's really, really, really good with that. And so here, here's his book, and I got this off, and it's available on Amazon. And he, he, he even has like a guide to this book. I don't have the guide; I just have this, this book. But uh, he has a whole bunch of uh, like pen and ink stuff. And once again, I am a complete fan of of of, of pen and ink. That's like my favorite thing to draw with a pen. You know 
and we'll just go through here and he just has like the things that you need to draw his stuff I'll just do some quick flip he teaches you like step by step stuff and he'll have like over here how to do this like with these strokes and, and stuff like that and then you know he even you know is that like, get a grip on your pen like he is so like really good at explaining stuff like keep your marks consistent control the properties of your strokes like he is really good at explaining things like so if you really need something to where if you're not a visual person to where you can't look at something visually and um and and figure it out he can explain it he will explain it in so in such detail to where you can you can really understand it so i really like his channel and it's one of the reasons why i bought his book because he he's just he just explains things he's just really really great at that and so really really awesome pen and ink artist and i think he even has a degree in in the field you know like i think he actually went to art school um so yeah alfonso dunn and like i said he's another person that uses shapes and everything to break stuff down and that's another reason why uh, i like this book because he'll he'll use shapes like these are faces he'll use shapes and everything to show you like how to break down a structure with just basic shapes. He's really, really, really good at that. And, and just showing you how to use your pen, the value systems and stuff like this. Like I really learned a lot from this book. Like me and this book been a lot of places cause I use this book when I was traveling. And so as you can see, this book is, is a little bit worn because I had this book with me like everywhere like it, it was in my bag like this book went a lot of places with me it's done a lot of traveling so i really enjoyed this book i'm really glad that i bought this book you know it was, a, it was an awesome investment and like i said this guy's a youtuber and then he came out with this book and uh he's been on youtube for a while and he's really good he's a, he's an amazing artist you know just completely amazing and also amazing teacher as well you know so here's some here's some you know pen and ink that he does you know some more of these you know he's real good about saying this is where the light source comes from and then showing you what to do when the light hits a certain place and then the bottom side is dark and then where the, the light hits is the most has the most light and then it fades off from there like i said i learned a lot from this book like this is one of my favorite books i took this book with me on my travels like me and this book would have been a lot of places this book is slightly beat up because i use it a lot but yeah this is this is just a really good book so if you if you're really into detail explanations and things like that and really learn about texture and and um he does some perspective in here i think i want to say hold on i'll make sure before i say that he does teach some like you know what i'm saying like horizon lines he does teach some you know some perspective but this is another book that i like that i would recommend once again, it's called Pen and Ink Drawings, A Simple Guide. And then his name is Alfonso Dunn. You can go hit him up on YouTube. This is one of my favorite books. Like I say, I, I, this book has been with me. It is thoroughly used. And that's another one of my favorite art books. And this next book is one of my favorite artists. His name is uh, MC Escher. And like way back, like I, I don't really have any formal training as far as art is concerned. I'm self-taught, very self-taught, but I learned from people who have been to college and all that good stuff. I didn't go, I did go to college, but I didn't go for art. 
but this is about but back in high school i got introduced to this guy in one of my art classes like in high school so mc usher is like mc escher or escher however you pronounce it is like one of my favorite artists as well you know so this guy was just so amazing to me like like i just love his work like this guy just just a completely amazing artist i can just i don't know just always stare at at his art and just really just study it you know just like a really just 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 an awesome artist to me and so this is like one of my favorite artists you know so i bought this book and i always look at it i always look at the pictures in the book and, and just enjoy the art in the book and so that's what i do so There's some more pictures in this book. Okay. So here's some of the stuff in the back. Let's see if we can go and just flip through this part. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. There we go. There's a picture of him, I think. Well, here's a picture of him on the back. That's what he looked like. MC Escher. And he just was just an amazing, amazing artist. And so let's just flip through some of his pictures. Just the greatest, one of the greatest. The way he used the, his positive, positive and negative space. Like, there's a duck in, 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 in the positive space, and then there's one in the negative space. I might have said that backwards. Like, it, he, he was just an amazing artist to me. So I thoroughly look at this, thoroughly enjoy looking at this book. Like I've looked through it a bunch of times and I always still enjoy looking through it. Love the patterns, love the shapes. Just, just love his mindset. So this is MC Escher, Usher Escher. Okay, boom. Show you the front of this book again. MC Escher, the graphic work by Tashkin. Not sure how you say that. But then we got another one of my another book that I use and like I say I'm self-taught so I learn as I go and this is anatomy for the artist and and with this book it just teaches you like the inside of what you're drawing on the outside like it teaches you like like when you draw this forehead like what's under the forehead or proportions and it teaches you skeletal you know it teaches you anatomy for 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 an artist and if you actually study this like it'll make you a better artist because you'll understand like facial structure you know what i'm saying like it just shows you like like your your frontalis your your temporal line you know what i'm saying like when you see all these bumps and stuff in the faces and then you'll know like what that is so you can like have a better understanding of what you're drawing instead of just looking at the picture and drawing it when you look at the forehead then you'll know that this 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 part of the forehead is called the the frontalis where that this part right here is called your zygomatic arch and it just helps you be and 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 
a better artist to me because it lets you know like this part protrudes out and by this part protruding out you know the bottom part is going to be darker and the top part is going to be lighter because that 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 is protrusion you know so it, it helps you with it will help me with shading too it just depends on how you understand things but you know this is like this is like a really good book you know it just it just really helps you just and so you know this is one of these books that you know it's one of those where you just look at it like if you want to really know something about it i just i use it as a reference i'll just go to that section of what i'm what i'm trying to draw and just get a better understanding of it you know like i like that i like that it just breaks down like the different parts of you know this is this is what you're drawing when you're drawing the neck so this is how you can shade it because of that portion of the body so this is one of them this is a book that's really helped me you know and this is a book um it was a gift from one of my friends and this came from uh barnes and nobles and it's called anatomy for artists a complete guide to drawing the human body barrington barber and this is a, a book from barnes and nobles you know it's probably still at barnes and nobles but you can order this from barnes and nobles but this was gifted to me from one of my friends and then i have one more book and this is like my all-time favorite book this book went a lot of places with me too i bought this book brand new but as you can see it's not anymore because i traveled with this book a lot um and this is a abstract comics and what this is is a compilation of different abstract um comic book artists uh throughout the years because when you when you try to like google or find something about this it's not very much out there there is some stuff that's out there but there's not a whole lot out there so this person got together all that he could find and this is an anthology of people who had did abstract comics throughout like the years and from 1967 to 2009 this is just like a compilation an anthology of, of, of people who did abstract art who did abstract comics I should say not necessarily art but abstract comics and this book is packed full of of abstract comic pages and I love that, you know, because it's it's really whatever it is. Like, whatever you want to say an abstract comic is, it, it's definitely that, you know. And as and if you follow my channel, you know that I do one, you know. And it's and it's whatever I I do I doodle in squares, and we'll say that that's an abstract comic. And um, so there's so many ways to do it. And this was like out of out of my research that i did this was like the biggest thing that i found like I, I couldn't find a lot i found a couple of comic books um about it and i have those as well but for the most part this anthology was like the biggest thing that i found as far as an abstract comic book is concerned and and and, and it's not like let me see and it's pretty much Hopefully I can get all this in there, but pretty much just like uh, people. Yo, my phone is ringing once again. Okay, so my phone is ringing once again, and it's my beautiful friend. So, uh, what we're gonna do is have my beautiful friend say hi, hi YouTube. Say hi YouTube. They don't want to. They don't want to say. They don't want to say hi. So what we'll do is we'll be. Hi YouTube. Say hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Okay. So now I'm gonna be right back. We'll be right back. We're gonna take a short break. Hold that thought. And this is our last book that we're gonna do. And I'm gonna uh, finish it up with this abstract comic book series and just give me a few minutes because i have to take the calls from my friends because i don't receive that many calls so we got to take this one okay be right back
Okay, so with this is uh, so can get this in here. Abstract comic book compilation. And this is like one of my like favorite, favorite, favorite books because it's just a compilation of, of, of people over the years that have written abstract comics. And it's like abstract comic is whatever you want it to be from, you know, and, and it's, they're like not, they're all just by different people. Like right here, it'll tell you who wrote this, Jeff Zinnick, and it's called Because and um, it, this whole book is, it's, it's filled, you know, it's filled, it's filled. And this is like one of my favorite. Books. And I always look and, uh, flip through this book, study this book. And it says so much in here. And this is a book that is available off of Amazon. It's kind of a big book, so it's hard for me to get the full, the full picture and frame, but hopefully you can get the gist of it. If you would like this book, it's, it's on Amazon. You can get newer used, they're still available. It's kind of an expensive book, but you know, maybe you can get a used one. Uh, but then, then it does depend on what you consider, you know, expensive. So. Jim Jam Joop. I'm just amazed on all the abstractness and all the talent that I don't think I would have ever seen if I hadn't if I hadn't got actually got this book. But this is the last book that I am doing, and uh, this was just a flip through of just my favorite art books. There's more, there's more, there's more. Just, I just would like to thank you for shopping by. Thank you for, you know, clicking on this video, looking at this video, you know. I hope that you found something uh, that you that you like, you know. So, once again, I'd like to thank you, you know. If you like what you saw, you feel this information was good for you, just go ahead and uh, click on this channel. If you follow my channel, thank you for already following my channel, but, you know, uh, there's a lot of inspirations and a lot of the things that you see on my channel um, that I do are just in inspired by these types of books like I said I'm self-taught so I, I, I teach myself step by step and day by day and I just keep going so thank you for stopping by uh, y'all have a wonderful day and I'm out